a show on the road. I'm on my way to an appointment to get some filler dissolved. At the end of the month, I have my surgery where they're going to do a fat transfer around my eyes and a rhinoplasty. In the past, I've done filler around my eyes. The last time that I had it done, it was not my favorite. They put Restylane, and I think in the past I've had Restylane under my eyes, but this time they put it a lot closer to this part. It just like, it absorbs water, so in the mornings it looks poofy. So like right now, I just woke up not very long ago, and you can see like a little pouchy area. And because I'm gonna have fat transferred to that area, I want the surgeon to know exactly where to put the fat. So if there's filler in there, I want it to fully go away because filler's temporary. It's supposed to last about a year, this kind at least. I did it in May of 2016 and now we're in August of 2017 and it's still there in some of the areas. So I figure I'll just go in and get it dissolved because you can do that with filler. They just inject some other thing, I forget what it's called, and it dissolves it. We'll see what he says. It's not as expensive as getting a filler done. Once he does that, then it probably just takes like a couple days to fully settle and dissolve everything. Then in about a week and a half, I'll head to Utah where I'm having my surgery and we'll see how it goes. And I'll keep you guys updated on that. I haven't been doing any of my Botox or anything like that lately. I'm trying to hold off because the surgery is coming up. I just want them to really be able to see what's naturally going on. I don't think that the Botox would interfere in any way. Also, I don't know about any of you guys, let me know. I've gotten sick after getting Botox, <laughs> so like I'll get like a cold or like a slight fever. And if you think about it, they're injecting botulism, they're paralyzing your muscles, so it's kind of crazy. I didn't want to get sick before my surgery. I kind of want to make sure my immune system is as good as possible, you know, so I don't want to risk it. So I figure once I'm recovered and healed up, then I can get my Botox and all that stuff later on. I have a bit of a drive. It should be another half hour before I get there because I live up in the mountains in Colorado and the location that I had my filler done from the beginning is in Denver. So it's about 45 minutes away from me. But I wanted to go to the same location just because sometimes they'll dissolve it for free, especially if it's like a lump. In the past, they had previously done some other filler around my eyes and I did get a little bit of a bump where it just swelled up more than in other spots, pretty much just from like absorbing water. So I went in and they dissolved it, didn't charge me. But this time, because it's it's more, I just want them to dissolve all of it, they charge $100, which apparently is really cheap because I was asking my surgeon how much he would charge to make sure everything's dissolved. And he was telling me that the dissolvent is actually more expensive than the filler itself. And I don't know if you guys know how much filler costs, but it's about on the lower end, 500, maybe for something, depending on where you are. But here in Denver, it's usually about 500 or more, uh, 500 per vial. So they usually need one on each, a vial on each side. So that's about $1,000 if you're getting it done around your eyes. If you do it on your cheeks, it ends up being quite expensive too because there's such a large surface area. It's hard for it to show up. And then also on the cheeks, they use a harder type of filler like a Juvederm Voluma. That one actually lasts up to two years. So it's a, not more permanent, but it just lasts longer. So that one they charge more. It's usually six to 700 or maybe a little bit more. But yeah, if you're getting it done to like your lips or the softer tissues like around the eyes, they use the softer kind, which wears off in about one year. They do have one that has come out more recently and it lasts five years. You can't dissolve that one. It's considered more permanent. So a five year one is a bit more of a commitment. The ones that they can dissolve is not as big of a deal because something goes wrong, you just dissolve it, no big deal. I mean, it's kind of like money going down the drain, which was part of the reason that I didn't have this dissolved sooner. Right away, I didn't like how it ended up. It swelled up a lot, but it still looked a little bit better than before. Uh, so with the hollows around my eyes, I, I don't like to look tired, so that's why I like to do the filler because it just kind of gives you that subtle, more refreshed look without having to get like surgery or anything, you know? So I mean, I think it's worth it for me just because I'm extremely self-conscious about the hollows around my eyes and I always feel so much better about myself. But this time when they did it, they 
I was so swollen. Uh, I'd never had that kind of a reaction to the filler before. It just swelled up. I mean, like, around this entire section. I couldn't go anywhere for, like, two days. <laughs> then it went down and it was fine, but I would get the puffiness. So what I would do, which is ridiculous, I would, like, push it down. Yeah, so this time we'll find out what I'm looking like after. Usually only after a filler appointment, it's not really swollen and you end up with like tiny little prick spots that you can easily cover up with makeup. But just in case I decided to take the night off from work, just in case it does decide to get swollen for some reason, but I don't think the dissolvent makes you swell up because if anything, it's making you go down. I don't know, I could just be making that up, so. But if you guys have any questions, let me know. I can make another video when I'm actually sitting at home and I'm able to focus and specifically answer any questions that you guys might have about filler or Botox. I have been doing it for a few years. Um, I've gotten filler in just about every spot in my face <laughs> because I've always been extremely self-conscious about how thin my face is. Because I mean, I'm pretty thin in general, so there's if I don't have fat other places, like it's definitely not going to be on my face. Um, one of the times, they were having a special on the filler, so it was four vials. So you bought three and you got one free. So that's like a $500 discount. Um, it's, it's a really good deal. Um, I thought so, and I felt like I needed a lot of filler that time. I was probably feeling extra, like, I don't know, I just either spendy or low self-esteem. I don't know. <laughs> Both. So I ended up doing filler. He put it on my temples, um, around underneath my, like around my chin, um, my lips, smile lines, under eyes, cheeks. <laughs> so pretty much, I mean, distributed it all over my face. But the thing I didn't like about it is that I started like, the thing is that when your face is relaxed, it looks good. But then when you start making facial expressions, if filler isn't one spot so for example when you put it right here underneath my lip like above my chin because apparently as you get older that kind of starts to sink in and uh usually it's kind of like even i don't know something along those lines so when he put it right there when my face was relaxed it looked fine but when i would smile it tightens up and you could see like a lump type thing and I had someone make a comment on it. He's like, what's on your chin? And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, it looks like a, a ball or something like underneath your, so I don't know, maybe it looked like I had a chew packet underneath my lip or something. So after that, I got super self-conscious again, of course, but actually it helped because now I don't want to get filler in those areas anymore because I just, I feel like it's, I don't know, like it would require so much filler and it wears off every single year. So that is thousands of dollars that you're putting into something that's gonna go away. You're gonna have to redo it again and again and again. I just don't know how I feel about it in those areas. I don't mind getting my lips a little plumped once in a while. I want to get my smile lines done again just because, I don't know, I turned 33 this past month and the smile lines are definitely getting a little deep, so. <sighs> and I hate driving through traffic. Denver traffic is so bad. It's actually not been that bad. The roads that I'm taking have not been extremely congested, but Denver traffic has turned into LA traffic. Rush hour is out of control. There's just so many cars. People drive so horribly. I just feel like the roads are not ready for the kind of traffic that we have now. So many people moved here and the roads were built for <laughs> like the old Denver, not how it is now. Well, I think I might have to turn you guys off so I have a little bit of battery left for after the appointment and then I have another errand to run for little Elvis, my dog. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit.